So welcome to the June 10th Select Board meeting. This meeting is called to order at 6.04 p.m. We are still, still, still at the middle school because town meeting is still going on. We will see what happens after this evening. Um, the next Select Board meeting is scheduled for Monday the 24th. Um, we do not anticipate needing to meet next Monday even if town meeting is still going on, but I guess that remains to be seen. Um, otherwise, we, uh, we're meeting on the 24th back at town hall. Um, so we do have a number of things to get to tonight. And just so folks know, we are going to have an executive session this evening. We'll be adjourning to executive session basically just as soon as we can. Um, and that will be uh, no later than 6.30. So basically, we're, we're going to have to try and be quick about this. But um, <clears throat> if we're even quicker than that, that would be great. Um, and the meeting will not resume an open session once we adjourn to executive session. So uh, first up, we have Mr. Zomek here to talk to us about uh, signing deed documents for the conservation purchase of the Ritchie property. This is a property that town meeting voted to purchase uh, at last fall's special town meeting. And this is kind of the technicality end of things where select board does the final approvals. Is that correct? Yes, there's really two phases. One is tonight and one is on Wednesday night when the CONCOM takes very similar votes. Uh, we're in the final stages of moving toward closing. We need to close by June 30th in order to receive the um, over $300,000 grant from the state uh, as our match. So there's a match uh, that we go to the town meeting on the CPA funds. So before you are a couple of documents, I believe uh, Deb will confirm the motions. They are to sign the conservation restriction and accept the deed. So okay. if there's any questions about the project, it's been vetted by CPA, CONCOM, and town meeting. It's a wonderful project. I'm not going to approve. Questions or comments from Mr. Zumek? So for folks following along at home, all of the materials related to this property uh, uh, are in our web packet today. So folks can get the full background, full history, the map, et cetera. This is a parcel off of Bay Road. It's a, it's a great parcel for us to be acquiring, and town meeting was enthusiastic about it. So if there are no questions or comments, Ms. Stein, would you like to start the motions? I move that the select board, pursuant to the vote taken under Article 8A of the November 19, 2012 Special Town Meeting, which property is to be administered, managed, and controlled by the Amherst Conservation Commission under the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 50, Section 8C. Second. For discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 That's three. Zero, two absent. Next. I move that the select board pursuant to the authority granted by the vote taken under Article 8A of the November 19, 2012 Special Town Meeting as continued, whereby it was voted to acquire the premises located at 615 Bay Road, Amherst, pursuant to MGL Chapter 44B, and to grant a conservation restriction to comply with the provisions of MGL Chapter 44B, Section 12A, hereby vote to execute the conservation restriction. Second. I'm going to hope that the MGL Chapter 44B, 12A is correct. <laughs> Which one? We're not authorizing some sort of, uh, you know, uh, I, I know it's fracking, a for instance, would be, but anyway, I, I'm happy to vote for it. I just, just, these numbers go by me, and I'm not always exactly sure I'm pulling things on. Yes. <laughs> but is that a conservation <laughs> restriction section? That's all. So. All right. Further discussion. No in favor say aye. 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 Three to zero, two absent. Thank you very much. You want us to sign those right now and hand them to you? or? <laughs> Whatever you prefer. Let's just sign them out. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. I started to sign the one that says Conservation Commission on it, oh. but you can just reprint another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's in our form. It just proves that I'll sign anything you put in front of me. So. Yeah, it's automatically. That's right. Well, good to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so as we are finishing the signatures, I will just note um, that the next thing that we're talking about is fall town meeting dates. This is in our calendar to do typically the first meeting in June, but that seemed a little bit complicated. Please come forward. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so we typically do that, or we try to do that at our first meeting in June, but because the first meeting in June was still very much in the thick of town meeting, we put it off. It was hard to think about fall town meeting when we're still in spring town meeting. Um, at the same time, we don't put, want to put it off much longer because the, date, the deadlines come due very quickly. So we looked at the calendar. I circulated the dates to um, Mr. Musanti, Mr. Pooler, um, maybe Mr. Zomek, I can't remember, uh, the moderator, the town clerk, um, and but I think that was all, to see what they thought of uh, starting on Monday, November 4th. Typically, we try and start the first Monday in November. That allows the maximum time in the fall for those deadlines that I referenced, um, and the most amount of November still in front of us before we get to Thanksgiving. Um, that would allow us to continue to Wednesday the 6th. We could not continue to Monday the 11th because that's Veterans Day, but then uh, Wednesday the 13th, should we still need that. Uh, as well as then the following week, all of which is before Thanksgiving week. Last year we had between the presidential election, between Veterans Day, between the auditorium not being available and some other thing, I think that happened. We didn't start it until the 19th, which was really complicated. Um, but this time we are able to start the fourth, so that is the recommendation. Does anybody have any questions or comments about that? What's on the ballot? I guess it's November 5th. Yeah, they, um, we don't actually have an election this year unless we have a special election for the regionalization situation. Um, that they are still pondering what they nothing so far. Right, they don't have a they don't have a formal request for a recommendation because they don't know what they're doing. I don't. That's not what I mean. To say. <laughs> they don't know what their plan is for a request right. for they an election at this yet. point. Um, so at, at some point that would come to us. There is a high potential that that could be on the fifth, but it might be some other date. Okay. Thank you. Other questions or comments about those dates? Um, my understanding, I'm not sure, maybe Mr. Musanti can confirm to us, um, whether or not the school has officially said the auditorium is available then? Um, I have not seen the reply email, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, okay, because yeah. I know that as of last week, we were still waiting to hear for sure. The school was looking to finalize their own schedule before they, um, Right. before they uh, well, we committed first, for it. Right? <laughs> It'd be nice, but um, <laughs> so uh, there's the slightest possibility we would need to change this, but our expectation is not, so. Okay. I assume that they have because we're skipping a couple of Wednesdays. <coughs> uh, According to this, um, like oh, really? the 13th, not the 15th, the 18th, and the 20th, oh, the 11th so anyway, one Monday. of them. So I assume that's because of the... No, the 11th is a Monday, so the 13th is a Wednesday. Okay, so, the, so that's like Veterans Day or something. Right, Monday was okay. Veterans Day. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. All right, then if there are no further questions, Ms. Stein, would you like to make the motion? I move that the select board schedule the full 2013 town meeting on November 4th, 2012. Uh, I think so. 13. 13. Um, with additional dates of November 6th, November 13th, November 18th, and November 20th reserved. With great expectations, I second. Further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Three to zero, two absent. Okay, let's do the road closure and the special licenses. I move that the select board approve a street closing <coughs> to Blue Hills Road on Saturday, August 3rd, 2013, from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. with a rain date of August 4th, 2013, for the Blue Hills Road 12th Annual Block Party. Second. For the discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Excuse me, I'm three to zero, two absent. I move the select board approve a special oil alcohol license on behalf of Topical Campus Incorporated for a reception to be held June 17, 2013, from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the Berkshire Dining Commons, UMass Amherst Campus, Brenda Ryan Newton, Treasurer. Second. Further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 I move that the select board approve a special all alcohol license on behalf of Top of the Campus Incorporated for a clam bake reception to be held June 18, 2013, 
from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. on the Goodell lawn of the UMass Amherst campus. Second. Brenda Ryan Newton, treasurer. Second. Moved and seconded for the discussion. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Unanimous. I move that the select board approve the special oral alcohol license on behalf of Top of the Campus Incorporated for a reception to be held June 19th, 2013 from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. <coughs> in the Berkshire Dining Commons, UMass Amherst campus, Brenda Ryan Newton, treasurer. Second. discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Busy business. Okay, a couple other things then. Um, in your packets, you have the draft documents for the annual town manager performance evaluation. Um, these are the select board's form, which is unchanged from last year, but just updated to include all of this year's uh, annual performance goals. Um, the text of the announcement for public input that is unchanged from last year, just with uh, updated dates. The text of the cover memo for the staff questionnaire, also unchanged but updated for this year. And very changed and very updated is the staff uh, questionnaire, the feedback questionnaire. So you'll recall that um, after last year's evaluation, we talked about uh, talking to Deb Radway, the Human Resources Director, about the form and what kinds of improvements she might suggest to it. And we talked about how to potentially increase the number of responses we get from staff and how to basically just improve the form. So I had a really good discussion with her. She had a lot of really great uh, input and the, the changes that you see on that form reflect all of that. Um, I took out several questions that we had used in the past. I uh, reform, uh, reworded several questions. I added some questions based on her feedback. Among her feedback were, was to um, have space for comments which for each um, item, and so that's at the end of the form, which actually makes it more standard to the select board's form, so that's good, as well as that open space in the middle for additional comments. And she talked about how some of the questions, and we've known this, are more appropriate for, say, department heads and others who work closely with the town manager. Not, not everyone necessarily would be able to answer those. So we sort of always thought that maybe people would choose unable to judge for those. But I think, and Ms. Radway's suggestions were that sometimes people feel like they should be able to answer them, so maybe they kind of resent that they can't answer them because they're not appropriate to them or, or whatever. So she suggested um, not, not specifying department heads per se because there could be all kinds of people who work with the town manager who, uh, who, who feel that they're qualified to answer those questions. But it just gives a little bit of kind of a transition to folks saying, you know what, these are, these are here if you feel they apply to you. Um, so we also talked about something the select board has tossed around for a couple of years, the idea of should the, should the feedback forms just be distributed to department heads as opposed to all staff. Um, and she didn't think so. She agreed that there's a lot of value in asking staff. She thought actually our response rates were quite good considering the, the numbers that we put out there and considering you know we don't have high drama in town. Um, but she thought, thought that there's a lot of value in putting that out to staff. They can respond or not if they want, but just the act of, of asking for their feedback makes staff feel good and, and can solicit very valuable feedback. So that's what the form looks like right now. Um, you can chew on this for a couple weeks. We'll talk about it more on the 24th. Ms. Stein, I know you won't be here on the 24th. If you have thoughts between now and then, certainly share them now, or you can email them to me, and we can put them as part of our discussion on the 24th. OK. <laughs> They're very minor, but um, uh, well, one was saying that um, the economy is slowly improving as, as opposed to stagnant. and. I think the phraseology, um, not confidential, when we go ahead and say who they're read by and that they're exempt from public disclosure, I would just drop not confidential and just be specific about who reads it. So those are my thoughts. Okay. And you can have that. Very good. And Thank you. that's true in both, in two places, the not confidential thing comes up. 
Okay. Good gotcha. you'll, you'll see it. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. So in the meantime, if you have any thoughts about the, the new staff questionnaire part of it, no. um, let I, me know. I thought it was fun. Okay. All right. So uh, so as I said, we'll discuss this further on the 24th. Unless, Mr. Hayden, do you have any comments or questions nope, you want to add now? Set. Okay. Until then, then, until then, then we are all set. All right. So next up, do we have anything else we need to do before we go to executive Nothing session? Nothing is left on the motion. Um, are there any logistical issues related to town meeting that anyone is aware of? We're kind of hoping we end tonight. It would take us finishing eight articles. I don't know how likely that is, but it is possible. Um, any, I'm not aware of anything, any other motions or whatever under anything. I, I think we're pretty standard tonight. No, right. Mr. Anthony, I'm not right? aware of any okay. prospective motions that are not on the motion sheet. There are, I'm sorry, two articles that we haven't had a presentation on yet, I believe. The select right? board? Petition articles, yeah. Oh, we took positions on that anyway. Yeah. 40 okay. and 41. Yeah. We did take positions to, one right. was to dismiss, one was to not recommend. Yeah. So we gave the petitioner two opportunities, so. Maybe you want to announce right. that. Okay, yeah, we did have on our desks tonight a, um, a thing about a housing market study presentation in public forum. It's going to be June 18th. Were you going to talk about this? I was going to just recite the, the, the notice. Go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, just for uh, housing issues are, are obviously of uh, uh, interest to many, many people in town. And we have a joint meeting of the Planning Board and the Housing and Sheltering Committee that is occurring next Tuesday, June 18th at 7 o'clock in the town room at Town Hall. It will be a public meeting. Uh, the housing consultants, RKG Associates, who prepared the housing market study, which was the second of two housing studies that were undertaken, uh, will present an update, uh, which will be an excellent opportunity to hear an overview of their findings. Also very important that evening is that it will be a public forum. There will be an opportunity for questions and comments from the public. And uh, I want to encourage people to come. And there's more. The report. Uh, and other details on the study are available at the website affordableamherst.org. Great. Questions or comments from select board? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Musanti, anything else we need to know? Uh, nothing that can't wait. Okay. Nothing that can't wait. All right. In that case, uh, select board members, anything else we need to talk about before I make the executive session motion? All right, then the next select board meeting, unless you hear otherwise, will be June 24th at Town Hall. Uh, at this point, I move to go into executive session per MGL Chapter 30A, Section 21A, Subsection 6, to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property, being the Coles, Parcels, and Cushman, as an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position uh, of this body and open session will not reconvene at the conclusion of executive session. We need a Second, roll call vote. Hayden I. O'Keefe I. Stein I. <clears throat> and this meeting is adjourning to executive session at 6.22 p.m. Thank you very much.